Tenakoto, Tenakoto, Tenakoto Katoa. First, could I first acknowledge uh, my colleague Celia and, and Ambassador. Welcome, welcome to New Zealand and welcome to Upper Hutt. And importantly, also to uh, my good friend and uh, Mohi. And, and can I thank the uh, Matt and the boys and OC for 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 having our one of our co-martyrs here as part of they're an important part of our community and Mohi, thank you very much for, for being here and being part of it. I'm not going to say too much because Celia is the, the main speaker. <laughs> I know my position. <laughs> what I want to say is just welcome you not only to Upper Hutt but to the special part of paradise. Um, probably many of you sitting here wouldn't have thought that you were here at a, uh, with a whole lot of colleagues, new friends, thinking about the new frontiers, new ways of doing things, agriculture, climate change, technology, and probably one of the most rem remote parts of the planet, and over here in Whiteman's Valley. But for us, it's one of Wellington's best kept secrets. And so can I all just welcome you all here this morning, and I know that you have a, looking at the program, a very intensive days ahead of you, but in gatherings like this, great things happen. And I know that uh, that, that will be exact what, what will happen here. So again, enjoy it. I unfortunately can't stay all day. I'm going to go to away in a minute, but I'm going to come back later on this afternoon. So enjoy the, the occasion here amongst friends. And again, thank you very much, and Ambassador. Welcome to New Zealand, and you're part of us now that you're here, and uh, great to have you here. Thank, thank you. you. Enga iwi, enga mana, enga reo, ko papa tuanuko e takato ne, tenakoe, tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto katoa, mohi tenakoe, mayor Wayne, it's a bit of a, don't often have a mayor double act like this. <laughs> <laughs> I might point out that he's the chair of the Economic Development um, Committee and I'm merely the deputy, so you know, I have, I have, to, I have to toe the line too sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Ambassador Mark, lovely to have you here and we were sort of trying to work out which of us knew least about cricket yesterday, I think. <laughs> and I thought it was meant to be a boring game and I just discovered that maybe it was rather a lot of fun too. I'd like to acknowledge actually James, MP, nice to have you here as well. Any other MPs, elected members, ambassadors lurking? Well. I'd just like to also extend my welcome um, from, because you would have probably landed in Wellington City, even if you got here some other way. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge not only the Maori first people here, but the first peoples of all of the places that we have come from. Um, my Celtic ancestry, people's ancestry, whether it's, um, I was meeting um, one of you today who's got um, Mohawk ancestry. You wouldn't know it from the haircut, though, so be careful. Um, and also, I'd like to acknowledge um, Josef, who I got the invitation through. I mean, after all, we're all from Africa originally. So thank you for bringing us together. I think this is going to be really interesting. I didn't have the opportunity, as Wayne did, to come last year. So um, I'm just really enjoying and uh, my tiny contribution of picking blackberries for breakfast. I hope, you know, Wellington City Council will be able to do something a little bit more substantial in helping us. And <laughs> They're very nice blackberries, though. Um, and the, it, I was reflecting, we call ourselves a smart capital, but that's meant to be an aspiration that we are smart about what we do as well as how we do it. Um, just on the technology front back in the 90s, um, it was council people stringing up dark fibre in the Wellington CBD that really got a lot of things buzzing along. You wouldn't have Trade Me and Zero and companies like that if there hadn't been City Link and City Council um, doing things that were somewhat surprising to the rule makers, shall I say. And that's what we need to do. We need to do surprising things and um, adapt the rules to suit the survival of the planet and ourselves and um, so that there's more than just cockroaches that live here. That would be really, really good. Um, I wasn't referring to anyone, okay. <laughs> Honest. 
So, I mean, some of the smart things that happen these days, Webstock, Dev Academy, um, Summer of Tech, um, AnimFX, there are some extraordinary things happening where, you know, in, in the UK, you might sort of gather the accent, I have nothing to do with the English cricket team, OK? I was born in London, but I have nothing to do with the English cricket team. Um, they have nothing to do with me now. I got the captain's name wrong. Um, in the UK, a city of 200,000, or even, you know, if you take the whole region's numbers, 480,000, it would be unlikely to have something as special as the high-tech, innovative sort of ecosystem that we've got in Wellington. And part of it is what we often consider our problem is that we're quite isolated. But if you put a group of really interesting people together in a marvellous place, some extraordinary things happen. And I think this, I'd see this as new connections almost, new, not new frontiers. And you know, council can only do so much or the ratepayers begin to squeak a little. But we have supported a number of those initiatives. We've supported um, Inspiral and they're sort of behind Dev Academy. We've got Lumio actually being used by some of the council groups and so on a little bit. Um, and we really, um, without technology, there are so many things we couldn't do. One of my favourite um, organisations that started in Wellington went on to win national community awards is Kibosh. They collect, I mean, their idea is zero hunger, zero food waste. And they connect all of these great little cafes and f um, supermarkets and food producers. At the end of the day, this food that would be going to the landfill or at best compost, and they make sure that it goes to food banks and people who are hungry and all sorts of things. So it works out really, really well. But they couldn't connect all that. Um, the food would have gone off a long time ago if they tried to write each other letters, wouldn't it? So, you know, there's some really different stuff happening. And I hope you'll make lots of new connections. And um, I, I just want to reflect finally on the connections between the Wellington area and San Francisco. I mean, apart from Earthquake, Earth quakes, <laughs> resilience, um, s pretty l socially liberal areas, biking around the harbour. Um, you know, there's a whole lot of things that connect us as well as perhaps sometimes the more obvious IT and film. Wellington City is working quite hard towards the formal relationship with San Francisco. There are certain criteria we have to satisfy before we become a sister city. I met Ed Lee and I'm going over there again in July. Um, so hopefully if there's anyone from San Francisco or you've got great connections, you can email me mayor at WCC. Um, so I'd really like to hear from you and I'd, I'd love to hear, I'll stay for a little bit today, I'd love to hear what comes out of this all by the, by the end of the six days that you're, you're all together. And it sounds pretty inspiring from the people I've met so far. So thank you for having me here and I look forward to listening. Kira. And um, Mohi's kindly offered to join me in the Waiata Ehara Itemea. Ehara Itemea no nai nei te aroha no na. To puna itoku iho, itoku iho. Tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto kato. Not bad for a poem. Not bad for a poem. <laughs>